creating bar graphs using Google Sheets. This is the assignment that I am on. Charts and graphs, bar graphs for seventh grade. When you get here, your one of your buttons says my document and then it will open up to this except you have a dark blue bar up here so you can just scroll down past that dark blue bar or you can use the little blue white arrow that will be over here somewhere in the upper right hand corner to um, open it so it's like this. You have a column of years and you have a column of number of wins for the and you choose. I'm going to do the Broncos. You do whatever team, baseball, soccer, any national level team, pro sport that you'd like to pick. And then I'm going to go to the internet and I'm going to go to Google and I'm just going to do a search. Number of wins for the Broncos. As you can see, I've already looked this up. You're just going to put in whatever team you want to do. This is a time when Wikipedia would be great. Hey, he's, here's even the Broncos NFL team page. But I happen to know this one is really easy to read because here it is finishes wins and the year. So I need to start in 2016. I need to start back in 2006, 2006 and do through last year. I'm going to get my information and put that in. So 2006. What was the first column? First column was wins. Okay. So 2006. Nine wins, and then seven, and then eight. 2006. Nine wins, and seven wins, then eight. You don't need to watch me fill mine out. I'll pause, and you go get the information for yours. All right, I have mine filled in. Once you have it filled in, here's how you make a graph. We're going to make bar graphs today. I'm going to click in A1. That's that cell that's right there. I'm going to hang on to my click and I'm going to drag down until that is all highlighted. And then up in the toolbar, one of them is insert chart. Click on that. It guessed I wanted the line graph. It's wrong. Over here where it says line chart, I'm going to go down and say, no, really, I was after a bar graph down to bars. I'm going to pick this first bar chart and now I have a bar graph. This bar graph automatically put my title. It put the number of wins for the Broncos. It put my years over here. It put the number of wins. Um, the only thing it didn't do was label each one of these for me. But we're starting simple, so you're just going to start right there. I'm going to pause so you can get that done and then come back and I'll show you how to make your second bar graph. Okay, down here you will see tabs. You can have more than one spreadsheet inside of a document. This tab is labeled Tech Articles. So I'm going to click on that one. I have the name of the tech articles that we read during first quarter. I have a column called number of points I earned. I have a column called number of points possible. So now I have to go to PowerSchool. So you're going to log into your PowerSchool. And I'm going to go look at my Q1 grade. And I'm going to go find what, the, what I got for these scores. Other thing I could do is I could go to ReadWorks and I could go look at each of those articles and my score is also listed there. 
so you have a choice in where you can go to get your scores. So you go get your scores that you got for these and come pause the video and come back when you have your scores in. Now I'm going to make a bar graph. Got that one wrong. Now I'm going to make a bar graph with this information. Once again, I'm going to click in A1 and hold my click. I'm going to go down through C12. Go right here to where it says insert chart. And it figured out that I, it guessed that I want a bar graph. But I don't want a stacked one because we're just starting to learn bar graphs. So we don't need to get that fancy yet. So I'm going to go to chart type right here. And I'm going to tell it I want this kind of bar graph where it puts the two right next to each other. And you can see here are the number of points possible. Here are the article titles. And here is my legend. Now, this y-axis should really have a label. So we are going to put a label in. One second. Sorry, I had to sneeze. OK, in Customize, oh, that's right. Chart and access titles. I forgot they separated that now. OK. Chart title is done. I need my vertical access title. And this is number of points. Just press return and notice it automatically comes in. Okay, when you have that done, you have now learned the very beginnings of how to make a bar graph. In the dark blue bar up here, you have a white button that says Submit Assignment. Submit that, and you have begun to learn how to make bar graphs.